Welcome back to my channel guys. My name is Alejandro and in this channel we talk about investing, personal finance, and all things money. I want you to deal with your problems by becoming rich. In today's video, what we're gonna do is bust this guy open right here. It's been I wanna say it's been a little over a year. Uh December 2019, I posted a video. I'm gonna put the card up here. This little guy will the one like this guy. I don't have the um, original one anymore because it broke. Um, it helped me save money. And I thought that this was a good idea to help people save money because it's all ceramic. Um, I got it in Mexico. I think I, I think it was like 25 bucks. You see on the bottom, there's nothing there to uh, open. So you can take out the money. So the only way is to break them open. So that's what we're going to do. So for a little bit over a year, this piggy bank... The way I've been using it is any day that I had extra change on me, you know, for whatever reason, I would throw it in there at the end of the day. Also, if I had maybe a couple bills, sometimes I would put bills in there too. And I think, honestly, I think that's why I got full so quick is because I put so many bills in there. Um, I actually think there's not that many coins in there. What we're going to do is we're going to crack them open. I'm going to crack them from the bottom to preserve them, to try to preserve them. And then I'm gonna count the bills. The change, I'm not sure if I'm gonna count the change. I might just take it to a coin star and then uh, coin stars are pretty cool because you can exchange your change for gift cards and they won't charge you no fees. Otherwise, if you try to use coin star and you try to get cash for your change, you, they're gonna charge you, I believe it's like 11.2%, something like that, which is pretty high. That's like, if you got a hundred bucks right there, they're gonna take away $11 what i want all my money so the change is probably going to get thrown into the coin star and i'm probably going to exchange it for an amazon gift card what's up guys we got the hammer we got the luigi we're about to crack them we're about to get some money so let's just get to it right, let's put them on his feet can you see that let me see a la una a la dos a la tres Ah, oh. <laughs> it broke him completely. But... Oh man, <laughs> it broke him completely. I was not expecting that. Well, I guess I didn't put that many bills like I thought I did. Oh, look at him. Maybe we can put them back together. Bruh, where's the other piece? Oh. <laughs> it broke into three pieces. There, look. Brand new. Man, this is a lot of change. Um, let's just count all the bills for now. We got 142 dollars. Nice. 142 dollars. All right, so as far as all of this change is concerned, I am going to get a bowl or a bucket or somewhere to put it. That way I can take it to the coin star. So I found this bowl right here in the kitchen. This is what I'm gonna use to carry it over to the uh, coin star that's at the CVS. Um, one more thing that I like to do that I did not mention was these half dollars. I don't know why, but I've always had a thing for collecting them. So right here in this little bag, this used to have a rupees cube in there. I have a bunch of half dollars. Also in this bag is this Buffalo nickel that I like, it's pretty cool. And I also have this really, really old quarter it's a 19 let me see if you can get that in the image 1945 and this has silver in it so it's pretty cool all the 50 cent coins are staying with me and you know as i go through the change i try to see if any coins look like they might be worth any money so i try to look for years and stuff before i even dump them into the um bowl or wherever it is i usually dump them 
because they might be worth more than the face value. So I'm going to do that right now. All right, guys. So look, I got the change all in the bowl. And these are the coins that stood out for me the most. This is a 1946. It should have some silver in it. But I'm going to look at all of these coins online and see if they're worth anything. So I thought I might as well take out the coins from this too. That way I can sell it fresh all over again. But this one is like nowhere near for me. Empty, finally. I'm going to go through this too. Take out all the coins I think look sus. Found some more sus coins. For example, we have, let's see. These might be wheat um, pennies. This is the oldest quarter I have. 1965. have 130 plus 30. 165 is what I had in bills throughout both piggy banks. So we just got to CVS. They have the coin star right there. And as you were able to see, I switched over the money into a bag. So I, I won't have a um, big old bowl right there with me. So let's go change this. And again, we're gonna change it for an Amazon gift card because who doesn't shop at Amazon? They don't charge you any fees. And I got Christmas gifts to buy. So let's go see how much it is. Coin star. Is it working? Let's see. Oh look, you get an extra five dollar Amazon credit when you pour thirty coins for an Amazon gift card. So I'm definitely gonna do in the Amazon. All right, let me pour my coins in there. $64. So that's it right there. You gotta check it down here too. They might have stats and quarters and coins or whatever. Usually it's because they're really dirty and maybe they're not actual currency or something. Yeah. Alright, look at that. $123.79. Let's get through it. Let's see. Please wait for printing to finish. Oh, there it goes. Ouch. All right, so it printed this. This is going to be the gift card code. I just typed this in onto the Amazon site, and it's going to give me the $123.79. Probably once I punch it in, it's going to give me the extra $5, but that's how you claim your change at a Coinstar. Goodbye, CBS. Thanks for the Coinstar. <clears throat> All right, so we're going to go to Amazon.com, and we got to redeem that voucher. Remember, you got to type this code in like if it's a gift card. So before we type anything in, let me show you my uh, gift card balance so you can see how it works. Account, gift cards. Uh, I have a zero gift card balance. So let's see if it gives me the extra five bucks when I type in the code. Okay, so I'm gonna hit redeem a gift card. And I'm just gonna type it in exactly how it is. Apply to your balance. $123.79. Now, I'm not sure if it gave me the five bucks, but as of right now, I want to say it didn't. Maybe it's going to credit it to me later. So I'm going to, you know what? Let's check the website and learn more. Okay. 
choose the Amazon gift card option with their small fee. Get a receipt with your unique gift card code and redeem. You are ready to shop your Amazon. Credit will automatically be applied at checkout. Offer only applies to products sold by Amazon. Look for sold by Amazon products sold. Okay, so I guess it's a credit. So it's going to pop up as a credit. So let's go right here. Uh, payments. Don't see anything. Let's see if I try to order something. Let's go right here. It's a shirt that I've been looking to buy of my dad. So let's hit um, add to cart. Uh, no, and I don't see it. Maybe it needs to give it some time. Set automatically. I'll just have to check in with the with the Amazon and see what's going on with that. But that pretty much wraps up the video. I was just. This one was just for fun, cracking my bank open, seeing what saving uh, your loose change can do for a whole year. I was, I saved what? It was $123.79 in change, plus the extra little quarters and nickels and stuff that I put to the side. So it was probably a little bit more, plus the bills, which was $160. So altogether, $283.79, more or less uh yeah so again just for fun that ceramic uh luigi was my go-to to learning how to start saving all right so check it out guys right here i was just looking at the coinstar site before i let you guys go and it says offer limited to first time a customer gets an amazon.com gift card claim code at a physical location this is, I think, my second, if not my third time claiming an Amazon gift card with change. So that's why it never showed up. But nonetheless, I have the $123.79 plus the $160 and it's time to go Christmas shopping. So with that being said, thanks for sticking to the end. Don't forget to give me likes, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you won't miss no more videos. And until next time, let's get this money. Peace.